the end of your stick off. But there's always one, always, always one that's full of nonsense, that splashes you, that gives you a hard time. He's just being up um, He's just six and seven years, years old. Amen. Amen. Shorty's going to have to paint the wall just now. <laughs> Shorty's going to have to paint the wall. Look at the wall. I've already changed the shirt today. For the mud on this side. Have you got a rope there? Yeah, I sent the seven. Oh, okay. That's fine. Check that one there. Okay, the, the, the furthest one he's putting the stick on. I know where he comes from. He likes the visitors, so we, we want to volunteer from one of the visitors to go down there with him and just rope the crocodile. Chris, keep a sign for one time. Leave him until we get a rope. Leave him until we get a rope. He's got a stick in his mouth. What we could do with this one, because it's being so stubborn, we've got a stunner. And you can go, there's no reason because we're not grading the crocodile, but you can stun the crocodile for 10 minutes. Or to 10 minutes, 10 seconds, and it knocks him out for 10 minutes. And then you can work on the crocodile and take the crocodile out. Right, we'll just. Pull it out, and then you'll just get it out, and then you go back to the <laughs> Look at the strength that that cock has. That crocodile only weighs about 40 kilos. Probably more than 10 Go See how they double around on themselves? Look at the nice sharp teeth there on this one. You can see, look at the temperament between the two. There's two with a totally different temperament. This one 
is opening his mouth, it's submitting and saying, OK, I know you're the boss, leave me alone. This one over here, which is a pretty dominant crocodile, is saying, leave me alone. I'm not in the mood for your nonsense. Okay. How's that? You don't see that often? On the, there's two fish eagles, and at the back we have two permanent vultures. So that is a big treat for you, any of you guys that do birding. Okay, there's two permanent vultures that are quite rare, and the fish eagles. And then an aeroplane just to chase them off. His tail in his back. This one's like majorly different. Um, he gets put up for sale. Farms are able to buy him, and if none of the Natal farms are interested, then he goes on game auction later on in the year. And anybody in South Africa or that's wanting the crocodile to men buy the Okay, nowadays you're finding over the last two years the crocodiles that have killed people. Both of them, they've shot the crocodile. Okay, but I just say my own personal view. It's slackness and it's laziness because you find it's too much effort to set a trap and have a guy man a trap to catch the crocodile. Whereas in the past, it was important that problem crocs, because they're big ones, were saved and instead of being destroyed, the sold to farms to breed and the fox board benefits out of getting some money for it. Okay, this is my yeah, I'm messing around the most out of all the crocs. Okay, but in November 2001, I was doing a show with four people here, yeah, about quarter to one. I don't like doing two, half past two, half past one. Not a good time, especially in November. Okay, and we had three males covering 21 females. And the skull you see on the table there had lost its bottom jaw. Another male that's over here, he's the male in the main advertisement picture for crocodile piece. Okay, with a guy looking to it. Okay, he's called Monster, he lived in Dallas Blue. Okay, but he ended up attacking this side, he was living in here, and biting off his bottom jaw. He moved him out to recuperate, and so out here 21 female 14. He sold some off. We move them around a bit. Yeah, the male moving there and the girl's growling because he's walking over. Uh, and then, he's there, we bought some crocodiles from Pezulu and some of those girls got to the hole and came got 13 years. 11 of them. Let's see if I can get some action out of them. Stay in the middle of the pond. Everybody's enjoying the sun out there this morning. Okay, I want one volunteer. 
can sit on the deck for a picture. Come on, no volunteers. Okay, Gurley is an alligator. He's less aggressive. Come around this side, sir. To your right. Come around that way. It's an easier to hop in there by the pole. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you go to America, you will find alligators bigger than the male, they shoot them. Especially in the tourist areas. Nothing gets bigger than about 10 foot because they're potentially dangerous. <laughs> She was complaining of headaches when she was little, and the male didn't like that. Now they bite each other, they can be pretty mean to each other, and they can be quite nasty. The alligators do end up biting each other. Yeah. Sun left here. He's only got about an hour or two sun, and then you find he will then be. Um, there's only about a, an hour of sun left, and then you'll come across some other sun. But this today is his 13th day out of the water since November. Oh, he's mobile. He's mobile. The one day. I had a Muslim chap here at the farm with about seven other people here. And they came up here and I jumped over where I jumped in this now. They have the bucket of awesome. And I just had him eat up off the wall and just run into it. And I was going to eat piece after piece and he was just swallowing it and he pushed me right into the corner. She's kind of bail up over the wall. You know, he's just so bulky, he's like a tank. You, know, you can smack him on the nose and you can do what you like. If he's the side, he's coming, he's coming. Yeah. He can launch get a, get higher than that wall out of the water vertically. Oh, he just, he was angry. 
He was angry and I had food and he was after the food. No. The, the, the ones that are in the tribunal, the, 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 oh, he, he's exactly from the same area. Yes, that size and bigger. Hello? Hello? Hello. I've, had, I've Hello. seen some pictures coming out of Chobi. No? Okay? And I've seen some pictures coming off the Zambezi of overseas tourists. All of them have been overseas tourists. None of them have been lo local, sort of Southern African. Okay? And what they've got is they've got, you know the Goros? Yeah. That the guys go on? And they've got the guys sitting on the Goro, or they've got another Goro in the front, or they've got a uh, oh. sort of school of, uh, I don't know what they call a group of community. What do they call a group of pod? Um, uh, a school or a pod of community. Okay. And then they go down and they've got a guide in the front and a guide at the back. And he'll take them for a, a jaunt down the river and then they go for a hike and come back. And then they, when they go back, then they paddle back up sea. And there, visitors have shown me on their digital camera. They're sitting in their boat, like here, on the canoe. And in the water over there, swimming past them as a crocodile. You have...
the egg there. Egg just came out of a dreary in the one day we did that and the crocodile squeezed the chicken so hard they shot one of the visitors. <laughs> Chickens are hanging over. <laughs> <laughs> so the crocodiles that are hungry, those that are not hungry, what a chicken. That's under its sight. There's more movement happening here. So I'm interested in what's happening there. When I go away, then I'll check it out. Or this one will fetch it. Can you move now, please? Go. <laughs> Saying there's a hole in my back. I know where it comes from. Have a wander around with pleasure. The folks that have been joining me, during this tour. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> At the other crocodile farm, Croc Valley, the guy, um, that's Junior, that's the big mouth. Come on up. Um, the guy was cutting the grass around the pen with a weed eater. And the cock shot him like that, and he went like this to try and frighten away the cock grabbed the bottom of the weed eater. Four. Twelve grand for the weed eater, brand spanking. Also going for it. You enjoying it? Yeah. No. <laughs> Let me take a photo of you. Like down at them. You can. This one's also. Hannibal. This pot's supposed to be leaking like that. <laughs> <laughs> they aren't smiling, Ivan. They're smiling at you, look. They want to be <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a geek. <laughs> oh, toothless one. Which one's toothless? That one there. He's got like the, <laughs> the two front teeth. <laughs> Where is that one going? Put a smaller one up there on the right. Where is it? 